Yeah, so here we are again. It's Friday. And Bernie has been in here helping me all week. I think he's getting tired of laying around in the uh, dust on the floor here. I'll have to clean this up next week. That'll be, a, that'll be a chore for next week. But if you look in there, hey, you can't see through there anymore. It's uh, a wall is back on there. So <clears throat> spent the whole week getting that sort of into place there. And it kind of a short week. I only was out here a couple of days. Then I also had some work that I did on the uh, Honda because the Honda scooter wasn't working. But you'll find a, there's a link for that somewhere on this planet. I don't know where for sure, but I'm pretty sure it'll show up. And uh, so things are good. The uh, 1982 Volkswagen Westphalia has a complete wall on this side again. So that's good news and we'll just uh, keep on working away at it it's not perfect but it's not too bad this you can see there's a little bit of a, a hoop in here a little bit of a warp or whatever you want to call it but there is a, a brace that goes along the back that might push that back out so I'll I won't worry about it until I get the brace on there and then I'll see what it see what comes out like there are still some holes into the inside like right there and a couple of, I can see some pinholes here, light coming through. So they'll be, I have to address those things. And there's some holes on the floor in there too, that you can see at that far side over there. So I'll get them addressed later. Anyhow, that's about it for this week. And uh, hope you enjoy it all. Just stick around to see what happened with that wall. Bye for now. Yeah, here it is. It's, uh, what, Tuesday already, and I'm back on, uh, back on the Westphalia, I hope. And I spent yesterday, whoop, did you hear that? I better just cut that out of there. I spent yesterday on the, uh, scooter, Honda scooter, because it was not running, and that thing there was a major blockage of it. But anyway... I got it running, put a new coil in it, and uh, put a new belt on it, so it runs pretty good. And you can likely find a link for that somewhere, uh, somewhere underneath here. I don't know where, but you'll find a link, and it'll be there. So, but today I'm back on to the uh, Westphalia. What am I going to do over here? Have to fill in. This I really don't have to fill in until after I get that wall on there, but... I might as well just make it up, get it done, see what I can do about getting this whole thing filled in right to there. Am I pointing in the right place? Yeah, filled in right down to there and uh, that complete. Then I can go ahead and put this piece in, which I haven't built yet the piece that goes here because I needed to, needed the, uh, need to hook it on here somehow. Don't know what I'm gonna do there for sure. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, so here's, I made this piece here, right? And so on the stretcher, stretcher shrinker, I made it so that it had that little bit of curve from about here up, it's gotta be a curve to it. So I got that on the, on the machine over here. By, it's kind of a long piece, but I was able to get it stretched. And then for this, you can see that crown on it there. Then I put the shrinker on there and only took a couple of presses. Now I've got that holes bit of drilled in for for it to go. Um, plug welds, yeah, that's plug welds from the inside, right? And it'll fit right on here, like that. And it'll fit pretty good when I get, I'm gonna cut it off so it's level across here. And then I'll make the piece that goes down here next. Can you see that? I'm way in too close, eh? So I'll just cut it off at the bottom there so that it's level across here. And then I'll make this piece down here because it's kind of whoop de doos to it there. Anyway, see what I can come up with. Yeah, yeah, so here I won't get too far ahead of you. So I've got it just tack welded here and here. Where am I? 
And now I'm going to go on the inside and see if I can get that squished in. I've tack welded it right there and then holding it with these things down at the bottom. So I've got two plug welds, one about here and one about, well, one about there and one about there somewhere to get in from the bottom, from behind. And I'll just go in there now and see if I can do it. Then I can cut this out and see if I can press that in there. See what happens. Hmm. But first, I've got to climb inside here. And there, I'm just going to take and hammer and and see if I can make that sit flat there to make a plug weld. Okay, give me a minute here and I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, so there it is. Weld it up all the way up there. Now, I'll go to the outside and see if I can pretty it up a bit. Now I'll do that uh, cut and butt thing where you just, I'll cut along here, like at a 45 degree angle, push that in and see if I can make that cut come together properly with a little bit of work and it's all pretty solid in there now so I'll show you when I get it cut yeah there now that's welded in there and good and solid a little bit of shrinkage in here you a little bit of a hmm what do you call that a whoop a warp in there just a small one it shrunk it in now I guess I'll my invisible weld business isn't as good as it could be. So, I will, there'll be a little bit of body filler in there to fill that up and fix it. But otherwise it all looks pretty good. That one there turned out pretty nice. A little bit more grinding on it and we'll be okay. Then over here, don't know what to, how to tackle next here. I had a lot of, had some trouble with the welder. It wasn't working right. And then there was, a, there was a hole in my welding glove and I burnt my finger. Oh, did it ever hurt? Wait a minute. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, right on, right on the fingernail. Mm, good. How do you like that, eh? Hmm. At least the fingernail kind of saved it from getting burnt worse than that. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, so now I've made that piece and I've run mostly on the English wheel to get a crown into it. Maybe you can see that crown there. Yep, and it goes over. See that the way that the everything goes, I'll show you. Kind of a difficult piece to make, this one. So it's on an angle on this end, right? Excuse me for a second, I'll get this set up. One handed Lorne, right? There we are. Anyhow, so it's on an, an angle at this end here, and I'll get that pushed in. And then on that end there, it sort of just meets up with it, and then I'll have to make, whoop, I don't know if you can see, where am I pointing? So it's at an angle at this end here, and that end there, it's straight up and down. I'll finish up this little piece here. And get it all in there and then this gap at the bottom here makes it come around this curve and that piece co gets welded in after the fact make it fit to the car instead of trying to make the car fit to it so let's see if i can get some holes punched here and at the other end for uh, plug welds and then see what see what it comes out like hmm could be okay Well now, I got a little bit ahead of you here. And I made up all these pieces and plug welded along that side. I, but I, got, I did get a plug weld in here, but a pretty weak one I think, but it's good down here. And I'll have to put some, uh, oh, whatever you call that stuff in, waterproof or stuff in there, in the seam back here, which I can reach from the inside, yay. And then this is plug welded down here. It's going to, uh, this piece here, Still has to have a little fill-in piece there, and make it a uh, oh a zap weld, whatever you call that, uh, butt weld. But I don't want to do this until such time as I bring the other piece to meet it over here, and because it might be 
the connectedness of everything going on there. Anyhow, but it looks, that looks pretty good. It is a bit, there's a bit of a warp right here where it goes in and I can't really reach in from behind there to bang that out. So that's the way it's going to be. I, I don't have a puller thing. If I had a puller thing, I might be able to pull it out, but it has to have that uh, fiberglass filler on it anyhow. So that'll just flatten it out with that and uh, put a little bit of body putty on top and that'll be good. So it's very solid. Back to metal. Rust is gone. Way Now I can sort of think about tackling this bit here, which is next on the list, I guess. So likely that'll be for tomorrow because I think I'm pretty well done for the day. So, or the next day. It's Tuesday already. I, in the first day I've been on since last Friday. So we'll see if I get some done tomorrow. If I don't, that's great. If I do, that's great. See you then. Okay, yeah, so recording in progress, it says. Anyway, here we go. So I've got the English wheel out again. And sort of a fairly smooth wheel on it. And this piece here that I've made for... Oh, I don't know if you can see that. So I made this piece here for the bottom of the half of the wall. Now, bend like that at the bottom and then I put it in the wheel and just gave it a little bit of a crown to it so you can see that see that bit of a crown so we'll see how it fits on the other side here and then I still have to put the bend at the top end here for it to go into the little hole there yeah here I am so after lots of bending and fitting and all that kind of stuff I've got it pretty close here and I, so I kinkoed it at the bottom here. I don't know, can you see that kinko? And here. Now I'm going to weld it here, and I'm going to weld it, tack weld it a couple of spots along here. Then I'll cut and butt this piece onto it. I'll take it all off, cut and butt this piece onto it. Or I might just leave it on and cut and butt this piece onto it. And see if I can make that sort of invisible from the inside. I'll do the best I can, anyhow. Yeah, I'll likely take it off and then cut and butt. And then, <coughs> using these two points at the bottom, I might reconfigure the top a little bit, but it seems to be hitting on that pretty close to the right spot for the, for the bend there. So, then that little corner there, I'm going to leave until after. I'll, I'll fit this all on and get it all welded in. Then I'll put that bit in afterwards, because I think trying to make it all fit at once is going to be above my skill level. So, give it a try. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, where am I? Yep, so I've got it moved over onto the table here. And the welder's over here. So I can cut and butt right along this line here. And I'll just tack it a few times on this side, butt it in and tack it a few times on this side, and then turn it over and weld it from the other side, and maybe I can get a smooth finish on this side. We'll just see how that works out. A little bit bumpy here. This will take some body work to smooth out those bumps that I've done with the English wheel. But but not too bad. Maybe I'll be able to pound some of them out. This one here is a little bit better. So it's got the good a good crown to it. And uh, everything should come along all right, I hope. I'll see what happens here. I'll start cutting and button. I'll show you as, as I get along. Yeah, they're getting a bit ahead of you. So you can see how much crown there is in the thing when it's on the table like that flat but <clears throat> so I've tacked it on the other side now I'm going to weld it on this side here and clean it up so that it looks and it'll look good on the other side I might do some light welding on the other side also but this will actually come out with a pretty invisible weld on the other side which is been what I'm aiming for here see what happens <clears throat> now there there's the back side of it welded up and cleaned up and then there's the front side of it welded up and cleaned up so I did run a little bit of a weld along the inside of that groove there and then I uh, took a herd I have a herd uh, 
thing there, not just the sandpaper thing that we were able to get in the groove and grind it off. Now what I'll do now is I'll kinko it back onto the car and then maybe I can build that piece and get it connected before I finish things. And then try and get it all welded onto the car. Hmm, see what happens. Yeah, that's gonna work. Isn't that something? So here's the the bit with the bend in it right there and it seems to be pretty consistent with what came on the vehicle. So I'm gonna ha be happy with that, I think. Now I gotta, uh, now I have to. Now I gotta, gotta, gotta. Gotta make another piece that goes in here. And I'll see if I can do the same thing by just getting it welded onto here and fit it in properly before I decide to uh, weld the whole thing in. Just fit it in with the Kinko business, which seems to be coming along all right as far as it goes here. Yeah, so there's the piece made. And I got a what curve in it there, whatever you call that, a crown in it. This is the flange for the bottom, so it's upside down. And then this cutaway is for so it'll fit in. And I have to make that hooky thing at the top here. I haven't figured out where that goes yet. But now, it's a matter of getting it to fit into the car. Well, I'll just see what I can come up with. Yeah, so now this thing here, I just had a lucky cut on it, on the, on the uh, car. I marked it and then I cut it and it was right. Now that doesn't happen very often. And this one here, I cut and butt that. Cut it and, cut it and butted. And I pulled this piece here out from behind it. Or in front of it, whatever it is, would be the case. And now, I'll go ahead and weld this across. Weld that down. And then I'll clean it up and uh, we'll see how things worked out. Yeah, yeah, so there's the backside all welded in the welded up. Now I didn't clean that up an awful lot because it's going to be, you know, hidden forever. And it just leaves some strength in it. And so hopefully I'll go to the other side and clean up the other side and make it so it's pretty near invisible. We'll see what happens. Yeah, well, there it is, made, and it's got that groove all the way along there, and it seems to fit. Well, we'll see what happens when I try and fit it. So it's got to go back onto the uh, band now, and <clears throat> put it on with the kinkos, and I'll weld it along the ends. I'll tack weld it along the edges, and uh, see if I can't get it to cut and butt or something like that. Hmm, see how it goes. Well, here, <coughs> excuse me, there it is. Like that's looking not too bad for a pretty big panel. Like that's a huge panel for a fix. And it might turn out all right. It looked, it'll likely turn out quite a bit better than what was in there before, anyhow. So now I'm just going to leave it, it's kinkoed in there in the same spot where it's been for days now. Oh, there's somebody. Stay right there. There's a loyal fan, Dennis. Hey, drove 700 miles. 700 miles to see all this. Up from Massachusetts, watches every video with a passion. Anyway, that's it for the day. Anyhow, so we'll uh, talk to you soon. Yeah, well, here I am. Now I got this wall made, and then I tacked it along. The top half, I haven't tacked it down below there yet because this sort of, I have to cut this out so that'll fall into place a bit. And I've got the Kinkos holding it, but they're, uh, they're ready to come out. I'm done with the Kinkos. So I'll pull those out. Where's my little Kinko thing? Kinko, Kinko. Here it is. So here's the Kinko thing, this thing, little tool like that, and it just, See their little, they can go into a 1 8 inch hole and then they tighten it on it and pull it together, which is quite cool. They work good. Sometimes they don't come off the little machine. Oh, it's two handed, two handed trick there.
There's another one. That one came off the machine. Here's number three down here. I think we could likely should just leave that in there for now. And I'll take number four out over, over here. There it is. So now this, like I went and pounded on the other side of that weld with a uh, flashing hammer and a dolly on this side and it seemed to flatten it out a bit and then I grinded it a bit more, filled in any, any uh, pinholes that I found and it all looks pretty good now, like that's a nice looking, nice looking weld and this is all looking pretty good in here, a little bit of cleanup to do there. So now I'll start just cutting along here and cut along here cut and butt this stuff here in likely I'll just start at the bottom here and work up and across and see what happens anyway I'll keep you appraised of it yeah so it's going along all right I've got it started down here and it seems to sit pretty nicely and I've got it out to about here now re-welded now I've got to cut along here I have a lot better luck cutting the vertical ones than I do cutting the uh, horizontal ones I don't know I can't keep my hand steady enough or something but they're not too bad a little bit wider gap here than on the side but it'll all come together pretty nice and then you kind of run run your finger across and see if it's flat like that one there is not quite flat I might have to take a hammer right there or else cut that and let it uh, push it in again but I might just cut these two where am I pointing pointing in the wrong place I might just cut these two here and then push that in a bit because it's not quite level but along here it feels pretty nice whoops uh, yeah over here okay so I'll carry on yeah yeah so there it is it all welded in pretty good and there's not much for gap around to fill in the welds so I'll get at that this has got to be this part here gets spot weld plug welded to here but there's a you can feel that there's a dent in it well this part here just didn't line up very well so I'll fill that I'll put body filler in here to make it look right and then this this thing here gets plug welded where it can be there's a little bit of a hole there to fix up and the top line matches just right but the bottom line just a little bit off but I won't worry about that too much I could likely do a little bit of hammering on that and make it look right, but I'm not too worried about it. Everywhere else it's all right. Now I've got to do spot welding on the bottom, I hope. We'll see what happens with that. That's our next challenge. And you can see that body line there is not exactly perfect, but it's not too bad for, uh, for what I do. It's not too bad at all. It's got a little bit of a twist in it there, but I think I can straighten that out from the inside with a little bit of a push on it. We'll see what I can do after it's all welded up and uh, I might be able to push that out a bit and bang on it a bit. See what happens. There you go. Yeah, there we go. That's all spot welded along the bottom. Some of them are kind of ugly, just about went right through, but I think they'll hold. And then there's one over there. These last five or six were just plug welds that I drilled right through and then put this. Wait a minute, I didn't even show you that, hey? Boy, oh boy, getting way behind here. So I've got this little tool that I picked up at Princess Auto. Where else? It's got a copper, copper on here and weld like steel won't stick to copper. So you drill a hole through and then put this on behind and then fill it all with uh, for a plug weld works pretty good then I go in the back and uh, double check it on the back side and fill it in if it's not quite done so up all around it's got a wall in it and it came along pretty good like I say there's you can see a little bit of a ripple up there where that seam is and a little bit of a ripple up along that seam but I'll see about getting that pushed out somehow there's a brace that goes I think it goes from here 
to the other side and, you, and it should push that wall out a little bit if I make the brace properly so I'll get on that soon that'll be the next after I get this welded in then I'll make that brace then I'll worry about getting it straightened out properly so that's all for this week it's uh, kind of a short week this week and but I did all right it's coming along quite nice it's nice to see a complete wall back in here again instead of that big gaping hole that was here just yesterday so anyhow hope you enjoyed it all and uh, hope I see you again next week bye for now yeah so here it is August 25th and my usual little walk to the beach all that stuff is growing there's a new one hmm wonder where that came from that guy there well what the hell <laughs> lots of them here now anyhow one of my loyal fans is visiting and she says that she really looks forward to this part of the video where there's a little walk to the beach see how things are at Holland Cove so here it is here's how things are at Holland Cove Another quiet day on the beach. August 25th, the sun's shining, and I'll bet you there's nobody on the beach. There is a sailboat way out there. I don't think you can see it. And the tide is sort of halfway. All the rose buds are, rose hips are bright red. And the beach is completely empty except for a dog, which is my dog, Barney. Looks like pretty high tide. So, there you go. How do you like that, eh? Another day at Holland Cove. And it's tough being a dog.